Hey, Brian. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Nice pile. Thanks. Oh my it's gosh. Right over by that fallen tree, but it's small. Okay. Sorry. That one straight there. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm doing a little one going here. Too. Cool. So this is our very first night in the tent. It's all set up. We might rearrange things as we live in it a little bit more. I'm hoping to give a tent tour tomorrow, which will be in the same video, I think. Brian's out walking Bean around because he really wanted out of his cage, but having him running around when the stove is going and I'm cooking was really stressful because I really don't want Bean to burn himself and I want to be able to give all of my attention to making sure Bean doesn't get burned by the stove. Maybe in the future we'll get like a little fence or something, I don't know. It's not like we could fit anything more, <laughs> but it wouldn't be a bad idea. So dinner tonight is broccoli, mushrooms, bacon, bone broth, and some pasta. That my mom gave us. <laughs> it's such a funny name. It's skinny pasta. Uh, I don't understand what this stuff is. Konjac powder? Konjac I think is a root. Anyways. It's kind of a funny thing, but we're going to give it a try. They really liked it, so we're just going to mix that up. Honestly, I don't know if we'll even need that because it feels like this is already so much food and we can't store food, so we have to just eat what we cook. But isn't this stove amazing? Oh man, so this is, this is a dream dream come true. I am on cloud nine. <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful morning it is. <laughs> the sun hasn't yet come up over the horizon, but it's still quite bright, all things considering. And oh my gosh, the snowy peaks over there are magnificent. The tent was so warm. <laughs> I spent a little time this morning journaling and drinking my coffee and got really hot and was like, I think it's time. I think it's time to get out, go for a walk and cool down a little bit. I'm just now starting to feel the cold as my <laughs> core temperature was pretty warm. Uh, it was very comfortable sleeping though. Um, Brian had to stoke the fire a couple times throughout the night. Thank you, Brian. Because <laughs> uh, we could feel the temperature drop every time the fire went down a little bit. But luckily it seemed pretty easy to get it back going again. And then it would last for a couple of hours until he had to stoke it again. He's still sleeping. I think he slept good in between having to get out of bed to stoke the fire. Probably can't tell, but... Oh yeah, you can. Oh, there's a little bean. <laughs> He wanted to come out on a walk with us, but he didn't want to do much walking, so he's just in my little kangaroo pouch. Fig is so, I mean, both of them are so happy, but Fig keeps running back and forth, which is wonderful to see. As a greyhound, he's pretty just chill all the time, and he doesn't expend a whole lot of energy, so when he does, it's always really exciting and quite the reflection of how frisky he's feeling and how good he's feeling and he just loves this. I think the dogs both slept really well. Dot was snoring. <laughs> it was so cute and they both had dreams. I heard them this early morning when I was journaling. I'm actually going to call my mom right now because we have service and I just want to touch basis with her and give her a little update. And then I think today I'm going to give y'all a tent tour. There's our little home. The sun is up now. I also got to call my dad, which was really nice. It's been such a beautiful walk. Oh, man, my heart is happy. All right, everyone. I would like to give you a tour of the tent. Welcome to our Spring Bar Skyliner tent. Here we have our trash <laughs> and a towel, some rugs, our boots, our little wash station, water and soap, dog food, and wood. We are trying to harvest as much wood as we can in preparation for a snowstorm that's coming in. As you can see, this was handmade in Salt Lake City. It has a stove jack, which makes this tent really special and unique and great for winter camping. When you're not using the stove, this little panel pulls out and you can swap it with mesh and it has a cover so it can be a window that's open or closed. There are two giant windows in the back and another awning if you so choose to have that out. We only have our windows partially open because it is a bit cold right now. Here's one of the sides where there's another window, once again not open all the way. Cozy. This is a canvas tent, by the way. And let's head on inside. So we have another, our door, it's a double door. So you can have it half closed. You can have just the screen closed and the canvas open, or you can have it fully buttoned up. 
I think in the future we'd like to get uh, an inexpensive, maybe a sisal rug or something to lay down because the ground is cold. We have a lovely view out the windows and I love that the windows are huge and that you can see a lot out of them. Here's our little bedroom set up. Fig is in his bed <laughs> under a, a little blanket. Bean is in the corner there. Here you can see that door mesh again. And we have some hooks, lots of hooks actually, to hang jackets and gear, get things up off the floor and out of the way. And our little dining table. I feel like this table, eh, maybe it feels a little bit big in here. Coffee and tea bag and a dustpin and that paper towel roll is on a bungee cord. That was Brian's idea. And here is our Winterwell stove. This is the medium Nomad, I believe. And we kept it going all night. Now, it did burn down and we did have to refuel it. If we had gotten the large, I think we would have had to fiddle with it less throughout the night. But the large is, is much larger. <laughs> and this one's really packable. I love that you can cook on top of it or boil water and it has these great little wings that serve as a, a shelf. We have our kindling back there and some of our wood pile. We're burning juniper and pinyon pine, which is what we have available to us. Leather gloves, these are mine. Brian has his. They've been super, super helpful when handling the fire stuff. It does get really hot in there. And so when you're cleaning it out or adding in more wood, it's nice to have your hands protected. There's that little storage mesh up top. We have some storage pockets on the side. This all came with the tent and they're really handy to have. Hello Fig. So cozy. And that's it. All right, so I'm a little more bunt buttoned up since we last spoke and our windows are mostly zipped up now. These ones have been zipped completely. It's pretty cold. The wind chill factor, I think. So it's in the low 30s right now. We're prepping for a winter storm coming in. And so we wanna get as much firewood as we possibly can. We're also thinking about going into town and getting a snow shovel and chains just in case because we don't want to get stuck in the mud or the snow I mean again and uh, it will be an exciting adventure I'm looking forward to it personally <laughs> uh, I think it'll be really exciting we probably will have to pull if it rains we'll have to pull everything away from the walls because as it is canvas the rain will eventually soak through and we don't want anything to get wet that's touching it uh, let's see, I think, I think that's it. So I'm gonna add this video here and probably make one last video of this series because I think if we get snow or any adventures that we take will be really exciting and I'd like to share. So thank you all again for watching, bye. And before I go, I just wanna say thank you so very much to my mom. Brian and I are so grateful for her generosity and her support in the things that we love to do. And this was an incredible gift. It's something that we've been wanting for a long time and now it's a reality and it feels like a dream come true and we couldn't have done it without my mom's help. So thank you, mom, I love you.